Hello, welcome. In the earlier video, we talked about how to install and configure the Arduino IDE. Here are the options that we selected. The board and the serial device. To build applications, this environment is the easiest way to do it, but not the only. In this environment, the programs are called sketches. Now, let's start with our first sketch. As is tradition, our first sketch or program will be Hello World. In this program, we will send the Hello World message through the serial port. In every Arduino sketch, there must be two functions. They are setup and loop. Let's write these functions. Void, setup, open parenthesis, void, open curly braces. Now let's describe briefly functions. First is the return value. In this case, this function does not return any value. Therefore, we put void. Next is the function name followed by parentheses. Inside them we put arguments. In this case the function does not need any arguments. Therefore it is also void. Next we open curly braces. This is the function body and inside them we will write instructions or statements. Now let's write the loop function. We have the two required functions. Setup is called just once when we turn on or reset the microcontroller, while the loop functions will be executed indefinitely until we turn off the power or press reset. Setup is the place where we configure ports and initialize them. Let's start configuring serial port. This is the serial object period. Next we call the begin method, open parenthesis and put the baud rate, in this case 9600. Every statement ends in a semicolon. Next uh, we call the print method. This method prints data to the serial port. In our case the string hello world. A string is a sequence of characters enclosed in quotation marks. Our first sketch now is ready. Well, let's save the file. Select File, Save. Select the subdirectory and type Hello World. Next, we have to compile select sketch verify and compile if there are no mistakes the message window displays done compiling finally we have to upload select file upload if there are no mistakes the window message displays done uploading well we have programmed the Arduino board. Now to check the outcome we have to read the serial port. Select Tools, Serial Monitor. This tool opens the serial port and reads the data sent from the Arduino board. Here is the message Hello World. There are different baud rates to choose. Well, the cycle to edit, compile, upload and check the outcome has been completed. Let's move on. Here we have the icons to compile, to upload, to create a new sketch, to open, to save and the serial monitor. Now let's create a new sketch. Copy, click on New, 
paste this double slash is to comment a line this new sketch is hello world 2 let's copy this line to loop function delete this line from setup save this is the hello world 2 sketch compile upload and open the serial monitor it's printing the string continuously in the same line let's call the println method println is short for print line this method always prints the text in a new line now the text is more readable Let's change the vote rate to 115,000. Choose the new vote rate. And here is the message. If we don't want to write to serial port very often, we can call the delay function. The argument of delay function is an integer long and represents the time in milliseconds. 1000 represents one second. Now the message is displayed every one second. To deal with serial port, there are many applications. Let me show two of them. The first is Qtcom. Type the device TTYACM0. Select the boat rate. Data bits 8 stop bits 1 and parity none open device and here is the hello world message again the second application that I want to show is minicom let's open a terminal type minicom hyphen s hyphen c on select serial port setup type a type the device ttyacm0 enter type e we select the speed the parity the data and the stop bits enter and select exit here we have the hello world message Let's come out of Minicom. Finally, let me show how to read the serial port with a program in Python. We open a terminal. Open the file. In this section we configure the serial port. In this cycle we read continuously the serial port and print its content. To execute, type python 
space and the file name and here is the hello world message to stop type control C you can download the code shown in this video from this link thanks for watching this video see you next time